Okay, folks. Tune by ear. Tune this guitar by ear. Check it. That's an E. Maybe your microtone off. I think it's an E though. Pretty sure. Rest of the guitar. Pretty close. Maybe a bit flat there. Maybe not. So I had a lady come into my house looking at ukuleles yesterday and she played one of my ukuleles and she said, what is that tune to? Is that English or American tuning? And I said, what do you mean? She says, well, it's in tune with itself, but I don't know what it's in tune to. And I said, I think it's G. She goes, you think? I said, yeah, I tune them by ear. So I thought I'd do a video on this. Why do I tune stuff by ear? Why do I not carry around a tuner? Um, I do have a tuner and I do use it sometimes, but I work on so many guitars and ukuleles. I've just gotten used to over the year years tuning by ear. I even made recordings for many years without using tuners. So, you know, somebody would hear my recording and it would be slightly off of E or, you know, semitone out. Um, the reason I do that is for a couple of reasons. First, um, is to maintain my ear. Uh, I know this sounds snobbish, but I was lucky enough to be born with close to perfect pitch. Um, and the only way I can maintain that is to hear what I'm tuning. Uh, hear the intervals between strings. Hear the beginning and ending pitches of strings going from E to E on a, uh, a guitar. Um, if I become overly reliant on tuners, I notice that I start losing some of that. So I have always um, tuned by ear. With ukuleles, uh, I don't really care what pitch they're tuned to. I try to get it close to a G, um, but I almost always play them by themselves. So if they're in tune with themselves, that's fine with me. Um, Guitars are a little bit more uh, important because they are uh, an ensemble instrument. You're usually playing with other, a lot of times you're playing with other people, so it's important to be in tune. Uh, and I can hear a low E very easily. Um, it's actually the lowest pitch I can sing comfortably, so it's really easy for me to tune in to a low E. Um, except in the mornings, I can hit a C in the morning. Isn't that weird? If I'm doing vocals uh, on a home recording, uh, if I do it in the morning, I can sing lower, more comfortably. And I do a lot of baritone stuff on my vocals, so uh, it works really well. So, however, if you sing in live, you can't sing live at 7 in the morning, so um, maybe you shouldn't write your music so low. Um, but anyway, that's a whole separate subject. Um, what I'm trying to say is that uh, I think it's important to be able to tune like this, old style. You know, or harmonics. I think it's important to be able to do that, to be able to hear the relationship between tones, um, between harmonics, to hear the harmonic series of a harmonic. Uh, and if you're constantly using tuners or cell phones to tune, I think you stop hearing those things. And if you want to develop that sort of hearing, I know that... Um, some people are blessed with perfect pitch and other people will never have it. But I think you can sharpen your hearing if you actually listen um, to music or to uh, notes rather than having a device tell you what those notes are. Uh, I think if you can learn to tune a guitar and it's perfectly within tune of itself, but it may be a little bit off of an E, Maybe it's uh, closer to an F sharp uh, or a, a D flat. Um, what am I saying? Closer to an F uh, or a uh, E flat. D flat, that's a tone and a half off. Um, I think that it's better for your overall ear 
to be able to do that. If you can tune, if you can get an instrument within in tune with itself, just for practicing purposes, I think that's a good exercise to do. So I mean, I always get customers asking me that. I give away all my all the tuners that come with the guitars. I give them away. Um, I'm always giving away those little clip-on tuners. I have one by my bench uh, where I do my guitar work, but I hardly ever use it. I actually have a little pitch pipe that I use even more uh, than that, but I don't use that very often either. Um, and I just think it keeps a sense of sharpness uh, of overall tune uh, or tuning uh, rather than becoming too reliant. But I, I realize if you're a gigging musician or if you're a recording musician or if you're playing with other people, then uh, it's really important uh, to use a, a good quality tuner and to be in tune. There's nothing worse than people trying to wing it um, and throwing everything out. Uh, there's nothing There's nothing more jarring to me than hearing something slightly out of tune. And I know I'm guilty of it myself sometimes on these videos where you probably listen to them and you go, that's out of tune. Um, it started out in tune, but probably I'm playing a guitar where the strings are still stretching and something slackens while I'm playing it. Um, but yeah, it jars me as well. So it's important to maintain tune and to be in tune, particularly if you're playing with other people. But I also think it's important um, to develop your ear and uh, maintain. If you have a sharpness of hearing, if you can hear pitches, intervals, intonations, stuff like that, uh, the only way you can retain that or keep the, a sharp sense of it is to use it all the time. It's like anything else in life. If you don't use it, you lose it. So that's just an explanation as to why I tend to tune everything by ear. Even on these videos, you'll rarely see me with a tuner tuning anything up. Um, and I do it rather quickly. And a lot of times I don't even use octaves or harmonics. I try to hear the pitches, you know. I'll throw these out. Okay, listen now. It's out, right? So. Hear it? Sometimes you can ch check an upper string against your lower one and hear that interval. Now within 20 seconds. All the strings were out, now they're in. And I think if you do that all the time and you listen for it, not just your uh, unisons, but listen for the fifths, you know, and the fourths. Because you don't have consistency across the strings on a guitar. There are certain intervals that are lower than others. Um, whereas on a cello, it's all the same intervals between strings. Uh, so you've got to adjust for that and you've got to be able to hear it. And I think it's really important, especially with kids, to teach them to tune a guitar without any devices. And to be able to hear the intonation or, or the, um, the intervals with their own ears and to be able to adjust so that they're in tune. Anyway, that's just my take on it. It might be old fashioned, it might be snobbish, um, but I found that um, it helps me maintain uh, an accurate ear uh, by doing this stuff rather than becoming over-reliant uh, on devices. But if you need your cell phone or, or tuners, um, then yeah, there's nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, I think it helps as a musician if you can actually uh, hear the differences between tones and notes and um, be, able to be, able, be able to measure intervals accurately in your internal ear rather than um, using some sort of device to tell you when it's correct. Anyway, disagree or agree, uh, we're still friends. All right, see you next time.